extracellular matrix is extraordinarily similar between species. So a pig's extracellular matrix is much like a horse's or a rat's or a human's, probably like a dinosaur's. And, and therefore, when we harvest it and we get rid of the cellular component out of a tissue, uh, we're left with something that the body says, okay, I know you're not me, but you're so close to me that I'm, we're not going to end up uh, doing, try to get rid of you. That's why we don't get an adverse response when we take a porcine-derived extracellular matrix material and implant it in the human body. The term tissue remodeling uh, is, uh, has to be used in context. Uh, perhaps the best way to think about it is that every tissue in our body, every single one, bone, brain, liver, whatever, gradually turns over. You know, it doesn't, doesn't stay the same. New cells are there, new matrix is deposited, and that, that could be thought of as remodeling. Uh, when a wound heals and you go from uh, injured tissue through inflammation and whether you end up with full regeneration or scarring, that could be termed as remodeling as well. We typically use the term, though, uh, in reference to the biomaterials that we develop. Our laboratory works almost exclusively with extracellular matrix in one way or another. And one of the key concepts of, of, uh, of an acellular biologic scaffold material like mammalian extracellular matrix is, the, is what happens to it after it's uh, in the body. And we, we think of that as remodeling because immediately um, proteins are deposited, cells start infiltrating it, new blood vessels form, the cells deposit more matrix, break down the scaffold, and we think of that as remodeling on a, on a daily basis. With a non-degradable implant, like a, like a pacemaker, uh, no pouch, just implant. Put it in the body like we used to do that. Over time, uh, it becomes encapsulated. Uh, not unlike other foreign materials, like a, a silicone breast implant or a, an artificial hip. You get scar tissue that forms around it. If you went in and were to place uh, a degradable extracellular matrix material, it, say in the form of a pouch uh, or, or not, it's going to stimulate the same type of responses that, it's going to, that it would do anywhere else in the body. It's going to try to recruit new blood vessels, get new uh, blood cells are going to respond to it to try to remodel. And it basically reawakens the processes that, uh, that were uh, active in the early stages of, at when the foreign material was, at, uh, was placed there. So in other words, you're not going to get uh, more new scar tissue formed, you're going to get an uh, activated remodeling response. So at the end of the day, when the remodeling is done, you, be, you, be, you have a new tissue that is uh, basically part of, of the body. It's hooked up, it's, just, it's like the rest of the, the body's tissue, it's all part of one circulatory system, and you've, uh, it's there for life.